Hello friends. In this session we are going to discuss a probability theory. So as we all know about a statistic, one of the decision making purpose we are using the statistics. So probability theory is one of the technique or tools in a statistics. So probability theory in this part we are going to see a outline is basic concepts in probability theory followed by base rule and also we are going to study our random variables and distributions along with these topics so before going to probability theory we have to see some of the basic concepts the definitions which is supported to the probability theory the first thing to learn a probability theory we must know it is a experiment so probability theory is based on the random experiment so first and foremost things we have to know that what do you mean by experiment so here experiment is it is a collection of all possible outcomes so for example consider a small example that is a toss a coin we know by tossing a coin there are two outcomes head and tail it is a possible outcomes when we conduct a trial or experiment so this is called a experiment so in another example toss a coin twice in this case we can consider the outcome that is hh ht th tt so this set of all these possible outcomes is called the experiment so in case of experiment there are two types of experiment one is the deterministic experiment another one is the random experiment now we are going to know what is the deterministic experiment so deterministic experiment is one whose outcome may be predicted with certainty beforehand such as combining hydrogen and oxygen or adding two numbers see here in this examples combining hydrogen and oxygen the result is known and this result is always unique similarly adding two numbers here in any identical conditions we add two numbers any repeated times we get same answer so deterministic experiment is a experiment which is conducted under the identical conditions which gives a unique outcome so that is called the deterministic experiment next one is the random experiment an experiment is random if although it is repeated in the same manner every time can result in different outcomes it means the experiment is conducted in a identical condition in many times it gives a different uh, outcomes when it is repeated that is the set of all possible outcomes is completely determined before carrying it out before we carry it out we cannot predict its outcome so our probability theory is based on this random experiment so we can come to know probability theory is chance of games that is a chance and games so probability is uncertainty probability theory is a uncertainty of the experiment so before going to pure probability theory we have to know the supportive definitions which comes under probability the first one first one is sample space the set of all possible outcomes of an random experiment is known as the sample space of the experiment so it is denoted by omega this is the letter this omega so each individual each individual outcome of the experiment is called a sample point or an element of omega so the points which occur in a experiment that point is called a sample point and the set of all these positive possible outcomes is known as the sample space for example consider here one of the example if the outcome of an experiment consists in predicting the sex of a newborn child then s is equal to g comma b where g means the child is a girl and b is that is that it is boy if the experiment consisting of flipping two coins then the sample space consists of the following four points here 
there are HH, HT, TH and TT. Here the set of all these outcomes are called the sample space and the each point or element in this set is called the sample point or outcome of the experiment. Next, according to the number of elements contained in the sample space, they are classified into two types that is finite sample space and infinite sample space. So, finite sample means is the number of elements in the sample space is finite. We can count the number of elements in the sample space. Then we say that the sample space is finite. And infinite sample space means if the number of sample points in the sample space are infinite, then the sample space is called an infinite sample space. According to this, in case of infinite sample space, there are two types of infinite sample space. There is countably infinite sample space and uncountably infinite sample space. So, countably infinite sample space means if the sample space is possible to put the elements of the sample space in one to one correspondence with the set of natural numbers, then it is called countably infinite sample space. For example, the lifetime of uh, electronic components the, as follows the ne next example that is the number of customers visiting the departmental stores all these are the examples for the countably infinite sample space. Next is the in infinite uncountably infinite sample space here if the sample space is not countable then it is called uncountably infinite sample space generally the sample space is defined by some interval or union of intervals on the real line. So these are the some basic definitions follow the probability theory. So thank you.